Uh, we're joined by Brian Oxman, the uh, uh, longtime uh, family attorney for the uh, for the Jacksons. Uh, Brian, uh, long time no see. Uh, hello, I'm sorry. Hello, uh, I'm sorry that we get back together under these circumstances. But I you have were to. Always such a great supporter, Geraldo, and it is so sad that this has to be the experience that we have. I'm just. I am heartbroken, Geraldo. As, as Brian says, ladies and gentlemen, it was, you know, I, I don't mean to make light of this, but I promised sh to shave my mustache off if Michael Jackson was convicted of child molestation uh, in 2005. So certain was I that the jury would acquit him. Uh, it was so clear to me that he was being framed, framed by, uh, you know, a, a welfare cheating uh, mom who was in league with a, uh, a psychologist and an attorney who had brought a previous action against Jackson. Uh, they were uh, making allegations that were, uh, to my mind, unprovable. I believed in all my heart and pro I was probably alone in the uh, the Fox News building in that regard that he would be acquitted by the jury he was but Brian I, I mentioned to our audience Brian Oxman uh, the uh, uh, family attorney for the Jacksons I mentioned to our audience that we all knew that Michael Jackson suffered an addiction to painkillers and other uh, uh, opiates and sedatives uh, to the best of your knowledge was that pill popping still part of his life today well although i said that if one day michael jackson would arise in this condition if he woke up dead one morning i was going to point a finger i was going to say that people had enabled his drug usage i do not know what caused his death i do not know what the toxicology reports are going to say i'm going to wait i'm going to hold my tongue to see what they say but I can say for sure I had warned of this happening, and here we are uh, with Michael Jackson having left us. I am heartbroken. I cannot believe that this is actually happening. And Geraldo, you, among all the people, were one of the most courageous, and I might add one of the most perceptive, because you saw through the allegations which were being heaped on him in Santa Barbara, you, among all the people, had the courage to come out and say, this was nonsense, and Geraldo, it was nonsense. He was an innocent man. He was an innocent man, Brian, but I must also say that of any 50-year-old that I knew in my professional career, his sudden death was the least surprising because of the physical condition that I saw with my own eyes. Brian, but I appreciate your coming on. Uh, but if you can actually stand by, let me bring in Mark Siegel, uh, a doctor uh, who works uh, extensively at NYU, one of our Fox News medical uh, experts. You know the facts in terms of the uh, previous drug abuse, and I don't want to harp on it. I want to ask you some mechanical type questions. Is it not a fact that chronic prescription drug abuse, particularly to painkillers, can affect the rhythm of the heart, cause arrhythmia, which could, can lead to a cardiac arrest and a catastrophic result? Yes, Geraldo, and not only that, it can suppress breathing, which sounds like his breathing stopped here, to the point where the heart doesn't get enough oxygen. May not have been a lot of damage to the heart, but an arrhythmia occurs, an unusual rhythm which doesn't sustain the body. By the time his personal physician may have given him CPR and brought him to the hospital, I have to tell you, having worked extensively in emergency rooms at places like Bellevue Hospital, the chances of him being brought back at that point were 10% or less. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, as you listen, recall that the personal physician, as our Adam Housley reports, was at the home. Because of that fact, you have to surmise that the people in the home noticed the exigent circumstance to summon the doctor. The doctor wasn't Michael Jackson's roommate. Uh, and this just in from the LA coroner's office, uh, en route to the UCLA Medical Center uh, to uh, uh, to pick up the uh, the body, so uh, uh, the Jacksons. Oh, I don't I don't I don't exactly know what uh, uh, what that alert is, but uh, the body is being turned over to the L.A. coroner. The coroner is en route to the medical center to pick up the body, and they're going to be doing extensive toxicology. But more go back to my point about the doctor being summoned. 
well, and they're saying that he died at, uh, at 2.26 Pacific, 5.26 Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, so that's uh, almost exactly four hours ago. Uh, isn't it likely that, you know, this exigent circumstance, that he was in a terrible plight prior to the official death time? I think that's probably likely, given that the physician was summoned. I mean, he may have had low blood pressure, he may have had difficulty breathing. Uh, you know, as Brian says, we're not going to know the toxicology report for a few days. But it's certainly, a man being 50 years old, you know, and the fact that he may have had some underlying medical problems, stress is a huge factor here. Even if it turns out that there was some issue with narcotics or painkillers, I think that that is something that's going to be discovered, may very well have played a role, but let's not discount the role that stress played either. And he also complained of chronic back pain, and there are millions of Americans who can relate to that. So he had the painkillers for the back pain, he had the stress issues, we had the, the frailty of his, uh, just his, you know, just the way he is, very, very frail and underweight, he seemed to me, during the time that we were uh, together. So he had a host of medical issues, some of which were self-inflicted. I would not be at all surprised that this will turn out to be an accidental overdose. I think that that's possibly in the cards, but you know, I'm always hoping in these situations with a sudden celebrity death, especially someone of the huge magnitude of Michael Jackson, that the public can learn something from this. And if in fact it turns out to have been an overdose of painkillers, we have thousands and thousands of people in this country that are overusing painkillers. It's time to wake up to this problem. Do I have time to run uh, this Michael on the tabloid crazy stories and lies about him? Talk about the stress. This is one of the reasons, some of it self-inflicted again, these are some of the reasons that Michael has felt hounded, at least since the original child abuse allegations of 1993. Roll it. Is the family still closely knit despite all the kind of tabloid stuff over That's the years? That's sensationalism. How do you deal with that? How do I deal with sensationalism? Yeah, how do you deal with everything in your life being magnified, exaggerated? It's not true. Almost to a grotesque It's like uh, looking stuff. at a fictitious movie because it's, it's fiction. It's like watching science fiction. It's not true. And I know myself. And it's sad when other people have to read those things and they believe it. But do you it, feel it, like uh, holding a press conference every week and saying, well, this is the rumor du jour. That's not <laughs> true. No, because I know eventually the truth will prevail. And I'm about truth, you know? I've researched it, and I can't find anyone who's been more frivolously sued than you for the most outrageous reasons. One of your attorneys told me that a woman called Billie Jean Jackson called and said, stop accepting any paychecks, Mr. Attorney. I'm the wife, and I'm and Billie Jean taking it, obviously, from your hit song. Yes. I mean, how do you... How do you what, so first of all, does it affect you, the rumors? Does it affect me? Yeah. Um... Yes, but I become immune in a way too. I'm very strong. I have rhinoceros skin, and um, but at the same time, I'm human. You know, so uh, anything can hurt like that. You know, but I'm very strong, um, and uh, I just don't like people hearing about such false information. For instance, did you father quadruplets last year? There was a crazy rumor. That, uh, well, no. Then they became twins, I know. I don't know what happened to the other two. Maybe they were abducted yeah, by about, aliens. Yeah, I heard about that story. No, I, I don't have any twins. And they said I'm hiding them or something. No, it's come another made-up rumor. So it's completely false. Yeah, I think the, the bigger the star, the bigger the target. I'm not trying to say I'm the super-duper star. The, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, you know, the fact that uh, people come at celebrity. We're targets. And... Uh, but uh, truth always prevails, and I believe in that. I believe in God.